Luckily, your marsh demon is nearly complete. Next thing, he needs a hand so that he can do some cool actions. Now, I'm saying hand singular because a puppet like this can only have one hand. Now, that might sound a little bit strange, but if you think about it, most people have got two hands and you have only got two hands that you can hold two things in. So if a puppet had more than one hand, you wouldn't be able to hold them all at the same time, usually. There are exceptions, but for this particular design, you only need the one, and an audience isn't actually going to think, where's the other hand? They won't be worrying about that. They'll be so dazzled by your beautiful creatures that they'll just see his one hand working, and that will be absolutely fine. So for this, you need a barbecue skewer, or something similar, Please be really careful, so most barbecue skewers do have a, quite a pointy sharp end. If you're worried about that, maybe just snip it off or sand it down or just be extra careful. Don't want anyone getting splinters or anything. Or again, you could use a pencil, something like that. As long as it's fairly long, this time it needs to be a little bit thinner than the main one we used for the body, just so that it doesn't take up so much space and isn't too bulky or heavy. Next you need just, again, some card. Any card is absolutely fine. I recommend card over paper just because it wants to be a little bit more robust than, um, than paper, it's a bit too flimsy. So I've used cardboard just from an old packing box again, corrugated card, and I have cut myself out. If I hold it up against white, you'll be able to see it a bit better. Now I have cut out this sort of flipper, frog foot sort of shape. So I imagine marsh demons would have webbed fingers like a frog. And I've just made this really simple little frog foot shape out of card. And what I've done, just like we did for the head, I covered it in glue and then I just put my green tissue paper over the top and trimmed the edges. You could also use a colouring pencil or colouring pen to colour it in, maybe put some detail on. Mine's just quite flat and plain but you could draw warts or hairs or scales. That is entirely up to you. Maybe you wanted to have nail varnish on or claws or something. But as long as you have a simple cardboard hand of some description, preferably green, that is all you need. And then for this, really simple, you just need to, if it's corrugated card, you do find that there are little channels running through it. So that's really handy for this one, is that this, skewer literally just slides through the card. If you've chosen to use card from a package such as cereal, that won't be there, in which case just use glue or sellotape to stick it on. Or you could make two and sandwich the top of the stick between it so that it can't go anywhere. Have, a, have an experiment and see which you prefer. And then you should have a little hand on a stick. Now you might want to just secure that with a little bit of tape or glue. Washi tape is particularly great for crafts like these because they're really pretty um, or just any coloured tape is also lovely. But as long as you have another sort of lollipop, a hand on a stick, that is your hand. Now to attach it to the body, you need to decide roughly where your body would have its hand. Now. One thing I will say, even if you're left-handed, put your hand of your puppet on the right side. So if I turn it around, it'll be the right side. We find that even if you are left-handed, it is still easier and better to hold the puppet's hand with your right hand. If that does become a problem, when you see us, we can always help you and swap things around. You might want to hold it in your right hand. But I do recommend most people, at least, prefer to hold the body in their left hand and the hand in their right. And that way they're all the same. So once you've decided roughly where you would like your hand, I think I want mine about here. So best thing to do is hold up your marsh demon in your left hand. If you put your hand underneath all the fabric, you can't see my hand, so that looks quite nice. If you hold up, pinch bits of fabric and see roughly where you think it looks good, so I reckon mine's about there. Then you just need to poke a hole with a pair of scissors in your fabric 
and thread your hand through. Alternatively, you can pick up a bit of your fabric and just put your hand in and either sew or staple the fabric together. All you need to do really is you need to trap that stick about where the wrist is in the fabric. Now I recommend putting a little hole in. I'm having trouble finding the hole on mine. There's too many leaves and things. But trap it in there. Oh, there's my hole. It's gone on the wrong side. There we go. So I've made a little hole just by snipping with a pair of scissors. And then I've made another little hole about two centimetres in from there. And I need to just thread it through. But I'm going to hold that up to the camera so you can see. So I've just made two little holes and threaded the hand through it. So that gives it a sort of wrist. And now you've got almost a little waving character. Now you might find that it starts to slip. So with that you can either use another elastic band like we did for the shoulder plate to keep it in place. For this though, because it's quite little, I actually would recommend using a little bit of wool and just tying it around the wrist. And then that also adds a little tuft again, it gives it a bit of interest and it's quite pretty. But that is up to you if you want to glue it, staple it, whatever you like. But I found that just tying little strips of green wool and thread to your marsh demon. It just builds it up and gives it a little bit more texture and character. Tie that in a nice knot and just push that up. Now if I hold him up, so if I bring that a bit closer, if you look I've just tied a little bit of wool around his wrist and you can kind of tease it and zhuzh it up a little bit to make it a little bit more exciting. So now you should have a completed little Marsh Demon puppet. Now you could add more to him if you wanted. I really want to see your imaginations go wild. As I say, as long as you stick to a green palette, maybe a few other things like browns or yellows might be quite nice, but think of the marshes and the, the woods and the wild and it's mostly greens and browns so try to stick to that palette so that all of our little minions look like they come from the same place but uh, yeah here is our lovely little marsh demon who is very excited to meet you all and I cannot wait to see all of your beautiful creations